everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a checkered stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this stitch can be worked in one color. I've decided to work it today in the video in three, just to show it off a little bit more. It is the same on the front and the back and it creates a solid fabric with an interesting design in it. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn in three different colors. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. Thank you so much for joining me. The free written instructions can be found on ridgetexturescrochet.com and there will be a direct link for you in the description of this video. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments and uh, let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. And of course, and always, don't forget to subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will be need to be a multiple of 10 plus 6 stitches. So today I'm going to start by chaining 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next, double crochet into each of the next five stitches. single crochet into each of the next five stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across, double crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by a single crochet into each of the next five stitches. At the end of row one, if you're going to change to a new color into your final stitch, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Drop your color A, pick up your color B, and place it on your hook, and then pull through. You can also just continue working in the single color if you wish. You're then going to chain three, and this counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next, single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So you're working a double crochet into each single crochet stitch and a single crochet into the tops of each double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, double crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by a single crochet into each of the next five stitches, and you're going to switch colors, if you wish, at the end in your final stitch. At the end of row two, in order to change color in the double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. 
yarn over and pull through two loops then drop that color B and pick up your color A placing it on your hook and pull through. You can then chain one and turn your work. Using your color C you're going to single crochet into each of the first five stitches followed by a double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Repeat that all the way across, single crochet into each of the next five stitches. followed by a double crochet into each of the next five stitches. When you come to your final stitch you're going to switch back to your color A and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Now this is for if you're working a project uh, that your ends don't matter because you're going to work an edging or something similar around. Um, so you can just carry your yarn up the side, otherwise you may want to fasten off at the end of each row and weave in. But as I've left mine attached down here at the bottom into my final stitch, I'm simply going to begin that single crochet, drop my color, reach down below and pick up the color that's still attached and carefully pull it up the side. Now for the rest of this pattern you're simply going to repeat your rows 2 and uh, 3 for as long as you would like. So starting with our double crochet stitches and you're going to change colors as necessary in this pattern. So repeat your rows 2 and 3 and that's it. So thank you so much for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to work the checkered stitch. Once again I invite you to subscribe and I can't wait to see you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.